Well, everyone, you might be trying to figure out what some of the worst cell phone plans there are in 2024. Now, the first thing I will definitely tell you is I can't really go and specify each individual worst plan out there because I don't think there's like a terrible, you know, cell phone plan. But as a like a fundamental kind of, you know, checklist of what a worst cell phone plan could entail, there's a couple things I'd recommend looking out for when you're signing up for your particular cell phone bill so you don't get one of the worst deals out there ever. Now, I genuinely do think probably 99% of the unlimited deals out there that you can get from any carrier are usually pretty good. So these will include any sort of like, you know, unlimited data plan with up to like X amount of, you know, fast data. And then like, it's just, you know, tailored to or throttled to slower data. I think that's totally okay. And if you're never really meeting that threshold, you should probably be okay. But the first thing I recommend doing here for the most part is making sure you're not going through and like spending a bunch of money on any like features that you don't need. There's a lot of random little tiny features that carriers just throw in. Things like unlimited calling, you know, internationally. If you're never calling internationally, then I would not recommend signing up for those types of deals because it's just going to be another set of wasting your money. So I doubt you want to go and do something like that. Another thing that I've seen a lot of people pay for that they don't need is like extra fast data or extra data if they're already on an unlimited plan. For example, if you are on an unlimited plan and you already get like, you know, let's say 10 gigabytes of fast free data, but you have the option of getting like another 10 for like 10 or 20 or 50 or $100,000 a month, I don't know how much it is. Well, in that particular case, if you're already not using the 10 gigabytes, what's the point of paying for more money if you're not even going to be spending, if you're not even going to be using it? And a lot of that data doesn't get rolled over. So you're just spending that money and then you're not even getting anything like, you know, beyond that. So that can be another very, very big thing that a lot of people may actually, you know, end up, you know, kind of seeing. So that right there is another really big thing. On top of that, if you're going through and using one of these like free phone offers, so if you're doing a, you know, trade in, you should be utilizing those like crazy. If your cell phone provider allows you to basically do that at any time, I would 100% recommend going through and actually utilizing those particular free phone offers because what's going to end up happening is there, if you're already going to pay monthly or, you know, if it's a yearly plan, you know, annual contract, whatever it is, or if it's a no contract plan, but it removes it from your, your bill, you are so much better off purchasing a used device, trading that thing in, and then basically getting a newer device from that and getting it, you know, outside of your statement credits because you're already going to be on that plan. You might as well go ahead and get a free phone from it. And that's another big, massive thing I'd recommend doing as well. So those are just a few things I'd recommend doing and keeping your eye out for. That way, when you do actually go through and pick up your next, you know, your, your, cell, your cell phone bill, you're not stuck in this like really weird phase where it's, you know, you're stuck with basically the worst cell phone plan, you know, right now that you can get. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.